up, what's up, what's up? You already know. This is week and today is my first day out and about by myself. I am driving. Yes. I'm driving by myself. I have the youngest three kids. The older three kids are at summer camp. I ain't got this look right here. Like I wore my scarf, got my head looking square. But um, today is my first day out and about by myself with the kids. I got the three younger kids today. Um, the three older kids are at summer camp. We came to get my car wash and then I'm gonna go get us some tacos, drop gorgeous off to get her hair done, head to the NICU to see the baby. Then I gotta pick the older kids up from summer camp. My mom and my brother have been helping me, but today um, my brother has a doctor's appointment, so he won't be able to pick up choice from summer camp. So I was like, forget it. I'm gonna drive and I'm gonna try to do it myself. So right now I feel good. I haven't taken any pain medicine at all. Um, so I am pretty much safe to drive, but the doctors had recommended I don't drive for two to three weeks. Today I am officially one week post uh, partum, and I just gotta do what I gotta do. I'd rather do it by myself when I'm by myself instead of having to do it by myself when I'm with a man. For those of you like, why you couldn't just stay with your husband and do it? Because if somebody is there, you're in a relationship, they're supposed to help you, not watch you struggle while they just stay comfortable. That didn't sit well with me. But now that I'm actually by myself, I mean, it's, we only been separated for one day, but now that I'm by myself, I feel happy to do it by myself because it's like, girl, you don't got no choice versus having a man sleep in the bed while I'm struggling to do everything for his children. That don't sit well with me. Anyways, I'm gonna take y'all with me through this journey. An instant wash, get in our car wash. He's been washing our vehicles for years, even before daddy had a um, detail business. He was washing our vehicles. He is mobile. He do windows and all of that stuff. It's off of Adamo. Yes, ma'am. My mama did gorgeous. I put some edge control on there today, and now it's white. Your nose hurt? Oh, no. It hurt in the inside? Oh, you got a booger? Wow, this little baby. Oh, my God. He done made a mess and got dirty. Baby. Wonderful. Wonderful. He want to help wash the car because he be helping his daddy. <laughs> One bun. Can you pick up my phone? Thank you, amazing. He was going to get it. Thank you. He's having the time of his life. Gorgeous and packing them snacks when they go places. So my car, uh, this look crazy like this one. I've been there weeks, baby, weeks. My car is clean. I'm gonna make an appointment for him to clean my roof. It had actually rained in here. We had uh, an accident and it rained in here, but they can get those things out. But yeah, the van is now clean and we're ready to rock the road. Now we are in Ebor City, which is a little community inside of Tampa, Florida, right near Channel Side, which is that way in downtown Tampa. I'm going to one of my favorite taco spots. It's called Los Chapos. This is the place that turned the music on real loud one time when I was eating live, and I was like, they got roaches because they were taking on me, so I started hating on them. But their food is really good. I feel like I helped them get all the business they got because I was coming here doing YouTube videos when they just was on the side in a little truck now they have multiple locations so now we're about to pass the old tampa park which was that low income housing uh community that they sold and it is now being built into a new high rise it's going to be a self-contained community very similar to that riverwalk area right next to downtown tampa This is what they're building and this is what it used to look like. They did a good job on my windows. Now we're on 7th Ave, which is that historic Ebor City. Nightlife is big in Ebor City. Gorgeous got her phone so loud and got her headphones. So we just made it into the taco spot. Um, we're gonna eat here. And to Benjamin, his wife is a fan. Say hey to your wife. Hey, hey Miss Latoya. Thank you guys so much for your trash. The kids are about to play. We got our number. They're going to bring the food out to us. Husband just called. He had to go pick up choice from Summer's camp because he needs a special paper signed by the doctor. 
and it's just like ugh, one thing or another right so i'm about to call and make sure it's a doctor's appointment so i could take him to the doctor to get that done now in my feelings i want to be like you know what forget y'all giving my money back which is something i did say and they were like oh well the weeks that you prepaid for we can't refund i don't prepay for every week so I wouldn't be able to get any of my money back. So I'm just swallowing my pride, stop running off emotion and use my logic. So I'm about to call the doctor, see if they can see him today, if not tomorrow. Um, that way he can continue to go to summer camp and I can have a small break. And a bunch of kids is so draining. It's a lot of responsibility. Of course I knew that, but I'm just telling y'all it is. Um, my oldest three kids are going to the same place for summer. Choicey can only be there from eight to three. The older kids can come from seven to six. I mean, my other two children, my newer typical kids can go from seven to six, but because Choice has autism, he only can go from eight to three because they have an adaptive camp. Um, McIntyre wants to stay at summer camp. Daddy was talking about grabbing both of them since he's like, since I'm here, they both need to leave. But McIntyre wants to stay. He don't gotta get picked up at six, so I'ma pick up McIntyre myself. Wood gonna take choice, he gonna take choice to the doctor. Me and Wood still aren't together, but we're parents, we have a bunch of kids. So of course we gotta communicate. I'm happy that I answered the phone for him because I didn't know. This is the thing that kinda infuriates me. Hold on baby, is um, why you couldn't do this? Why couldn't you help yesterday and the day before yesterday? And the day before that. Now that I say oh, I'm done with you and all this stuff after the drama, now in the day you want to help i don't know like i don't know if this is an all men thing or just a my man thing like it's kind of giving you your mama son let me just say that for lack of kind of words you your mama son but it is what it is um the doctor is closed right now on lunch break so at one i'm gonna call them again and then we still got to drop her off to get her hair done we still got to go see the baby but i want to feed the kids and since i got the car cleaned, I wanted to eat here instead of eating in the car. I'm gonna go buy him a shirt. I didn't bring extra clothes. So the dog got to feel is that, this is the time I was, they got to feel They kill y'all. They kill y'all. They kill y'all. They dropping gorgeous off at the Andrews Sisters. Miss Brenda does her hair. It's been a while. So we dropped gorgeous off. She's safe. We're gonna go ahead and buckle the kids in. Good job, buddy. I have a shirt. He don't want my help. He think he's just grown man. You wanna go check your cheese? Okay. And so we just came to right. He said he's not a baby. He a big boy. The little boy he called him baby. But um, we just made it to Family Dollar. I need to get the baby an outfit. So we're gonna buy him something to put on. Gotta put him in a buggy. Hold oh, my baby. I'm breaking every rule the doctor gave me. Peach batch. So this baby trying to shop. Well, this big boy. He don't like us to call him baby no more. You buying those plates? I buy them. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's enough. Come on. So we just gotta grab us an outfit. Don't sleep on the dollar store. Come on, baby. Come this way. You trying to buy gorgeous the baby suit? That's so sweet, but I don't think this gorgeous size. That's a four. That's too little. Yep, gorgeous wear six. Good job. Wait, I'll I'll pick out. Look, we'll we'll go clothes shopping somewhere else, guys. Okay, wait, just wait. Slow down. Pump your brakes. You find that for wonderful. I buy it. Okay, child, he like to shop like his mama. Okay, let's get this little boy something to put on. This is the only outfit they got in a two T. So so we're gonna get is eight dollars. This is the best film ever. So we're gonna get this done. We only needed one outfit, but I'm buying both of them an outfit. Then amazing, I'll put these socks in here. These plates. Oh, it's a it's a fleece. Oh, it's a plate. So you could have a three section plate or one plate. Hey buddy, what you got thermometers for? Okay. He's just shopping away. <laughs> okay, nothing else. All right, buddy. What's this? critter kids critter cage so this is like if you want to catch lizards like my kids was catching lizards yesterday at my sister house this is what that's what he said oh he said no oh, i'm not gonna buy this but i'll let him get the cup and the toys
Make this easier on me. I'm gonna actually change this baby while I'm in the store. Girl, my hair is starting to look crazy in my opinion. It's so hot and stuff. Um, we just leaving Family Dollar. I'm just sitting here for a second for a break, just a mental break, cause I'm doing so much in so little time. We're right around the corner from the hospital, so we're about to go see the baby. Hey. So we just made it through uh, security. I gotta get the kids badges. This baby want me to carry him. This is the hard part. I'm not supposed to be lifting anything bigger than the baby, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Pick up the birth certificate. I ordered it yesterday. Batch, I have the birth certificate. Tonight when I go home, I'm gonna put the kids stroller in the car to make this easier. For me, we have two strollers. I always forget them, never bring them. So now that I'm not supposed to carry this buddy, I'm gonna definitely bring the strollers. We just made it onto the elevator. Hey, baby, I came here just in time because the nurses just called me saying the doctor wanted to give me an update. I was like, I'm actually about to come upstairs right now. So we're gonna do it in person. Bitch, we just saying, see you later to the baby. He's awake. I'm such a sad. I think they gave my baby a bath. I wish I could have been here when they bathed him. I'm missing out on so much. I'm sorry. Hey, boy. He's like, hold on. Don't you touch me. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful hands are clean. Hey. I'm going to come back and see him by myself. Because, say, them churn is rowdy, mama. Yeah. <laughs> so, we just made it to the trampoline park. Nice flip, Matt Matt. Um, the kids are gonna enjoy three hours here. My oldest loves coming to the trampoline park. I'm actually gonna buy them the summer pass. It's a hundred dollars. I don't know if I want to do this location though, because when you buy those summer passes, it's location Pacific. And this particular location is further from my house, but I said this would be a great stop when we come to Tampa to visit the bay because it's literally about six minute drive from the hospital. So like I can bring the kids here first, tire them out, and then go visit the baby in the hospital. Um, so I'm thinking about it. Yay, jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. jump. They just added this little jungle gym over there. That's pretty cool. So a lot of kids playing. Hey, buddy. A lot of kids playing. I need to wipe your face, chocolate face. I'm going to go ahead and edit some videos, respond to emails, and start working on my next uh, business venture. My niece is here with my son. They're the same age, so give him somebody to have fun with. But let me see you jump. Go jump, jump. Let me see you jump, jump, jump. Are you gonna take the phone? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> jump, baby, jump. Let me see you do it. Jump, baby, jump. Let me see you. Let, let, let. And I feel really, really good. I saw my husband as you guys saw today, and I'm so proud of me because I still don't want to be with him. I already know how this would work. What would happen is daddy does something sweet, like how he took choice to the doctor and picked him up from the Y. And it's like, oh, he's helping. And so I'm gonna cave and let him come home and think it's gonna be all good. And then that behavior only lasts for one day to three days. And then it's back to him not helping me, me crying, me feeling stressed. Before I feel that way again, I'm just gonna stay by myself. I'm really praying that God give me the strength to see this through. I don't hate my husband, I love him so much, but I just know it's not a good situation for myself, um, which is which makes it not a good situation for my children. Me being stressed, crying, feeling like I'm doing everything alone, and he just got this free ride, easy breezy, I don't care life, you know? So I don't like the way that feels. Um, my niece just brought me her Pandora necklace to watch while she jumps. Having a time of their life in a hurricane stimulator. <laughs> Hi, Choisey. <laughs> like you like, head up like you like, head up like you like, uh, for your girl. Uh, you like my pictures, head up like you like, uh, you like my videos, head up like you like, uh, you ain't no hater, head up like you like, uh, you getting paper, head up like you like, uh, like, you like. Uh, go like, 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 let's go. Like you like soon as you see my videos, you know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl dope. If you 
really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, E Y Bae, hit a like he like and send that love my way. L to the IK, E Y Bae, hit a like he like and send that love my way. Light, 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 let's go. Light, 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 Like, I hope y'all like this sound. Thanks yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for like, joking. Like, like, Bye. Bye.